So what I wanted to jump on and talk about today is one of the things that I find the most fascinating about the body and it is the body's ability to self-regulate and self-heal. <clears throat> so let me break this down a little bit. So what we essentially have is an organism that can essentially take in things from the environment, break it down to its smaller components and rebuild it in order to make its own components. So let's just use an example. That breakfast that you ate this morning or may just about be uh, eating or maybe you don't eat and maybe you're gonna eat in the afternoon, but that food that you consumed in the last 24 to 48 hours, did you ever think about digesting it? Did you ever think about taking the proteins from that? Did you ever think about the fats, the sugars, the carbohydrates? Did you ever think about the micronutrients, macronutrients, and where they exactly had to go into your body? When was it that you really had to think about the last time you had to take a breath? Or the last time you had to think about keeping your heart beating? Or your stomach digesting? Or your eyes watering? Or your salivary glands producing? And, and this is one of the most fascinating things. And there's pretty much one thing that pretty much every health practitioner, doctor, surgeon, and pretty much everyone on the planet can agree on is that the body has this amazing ability. This has, the body has an amazing ability to actually function and heal without us actually having to think about it, which is absolutely awesome. So what I wanted to just briefly explain to you is how that essentially works. Now, what we know what we know about pretty much every organ in the body is that it is controlled by the one that sits underneath our hat. I'm gonna let that sink in for a second because the one that sits beneath our hat is the one that sits between our ears, and that is our brain. Now our brain, our brain sends signals down through the spinal cord, out into the periphery, and teaches our body or tells our body which systems need to up and down regulate. So say for example, obviously if you've just eaten your breakfast, your brain is gonna tell your stomach that it needs to increase its digestion rate. So let's have a little look at how this starts to occur. So this is what we call the autonomic nervous system. So what we can essentially see is sitting at the top is our brain. And as we run down the spine, we can start to see all the different areas. Now there are two different responses here. We have our green looking nerves and we have our yellow looking nerves depending on whereabouts we are in the chart. And essentially when we break those down, what we've essentially got is we've got two different areas. We've got our sympathetic and our parasympathetics. Now our sympathetic is designed to actually help to increase certain functions. E.g. if there was a tiger that burst through the door right now, whilst I was uh, recording this video, I would not stay recording this video for very long. And the reason being is that my brain will send the signals to my tissues and my organs in order to actually survive. And then we have a different the parasympathetic. This is called the rest and digest zone. And this is really what we actually want to drive up. And this is what chiropractors will focus a lot on with their patients, because actually it's that very high level of sympathetic dominance, which really stops the body from healing. And the reason why we have rest and digest so that we can absorb those nutrients, so we can actually, why do we sleep? The, you know, we've got to ask ourselves the question, why is it that's so important about sleep that pretty much every species on the planet needs to have some level of rest and sleep? And the reality of it is, is that we have to recover those tissues. So if we are in, are not in balance, if we're not in balance with our systems, if our systems are not balancing out and we are not creating the right environment for our body to properly heal and self-regulate, systems will start to go wrong and that is when disease can start to occur. Now, this is so, 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 so important and I, I really, 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 really like, stress these points to people that there are, we do have a control on these systems. And there are multiple ways that we can actually control our systems. There are three ways that we're gonna stress this system out. Physical stress, chemical stress, and emotional stress. And so what we've got to look at is how all of these can actually start to have an impact on how our body starts to work. But I just wanted to show you and briefly overrun just how amazing this system is because this system is doing absolutely everything for you. Pretty much every one of you that's sitting here and watching this uh, is not having to think about that heartbeat.
they're not having to think about their breathing. They're not, you're not having to think about how, how, how far along in your colon your breakfast has got. And this is really amazing. And, and what we sometimes forget is that actually our body has these amazing systems in place in order to actually let our body function, heal and regulate. Like I say, you do have to take care of the system. And one thing we know about pretty much everything that occurs in the body is everything takes time. Everything takes time. It takes time to digest your food. It takes time to move blood around the body. It takes time to recover a bone break. It takes time to recover a ligament sprain. And so this is one of the things that we generally forget. And, and, and as a result, we tend to get frustrated that we're not making progress, but we can still make the progress if we give ourselves the right amount of time, if we give ourselves the right resources, and if we actually buy into and take care of this amazing system that we have, which is our central nervous system and our brain. Keep watching, keep watching for more tips on how you can look after your central nervous system, how you can look after your body, exercises, diet, nutrition, uh, even looking after your mental and social well-being. Uh, for those of you that don't already know, we're running a podcast for our patients. You can find us on Spotify or iTunes. Our podcast is called Coffee with the Chiropractor uh, with your host, Patrick Hogg. Uh, and we, we really wanted to just be able to instill some more value and introduce you to more chiropractors. Uh, we're actually going to introduce a chiropractic patient from America who had a near-death uh, experience until he was introduced to chiropractic. Uh, we've had some guests with uh, functional movement coaches and so we really want to try and bring some value to you guys so that you can actually learn how to take care of yourself and actually improve in your life. So it's been amazing talking to you guys this morning. Hopefully you found some value in this. Uh, if you need any, if you've got any questions, just give us a shout, drop us a, an email or even just jump something into the comments below or even you can just send us a instant Facebook messenger and I generally tend to respond to those within the next 48 hours. It's been really nice to speak to you guys again. We'll speak to you again soon. Take care.